Dre was very kind and very ornery. Those are probably the best two words I can use to describe him. You know, the first time I realized that Dre was depressed was his sophomore year of high school. And it was because he, he talked to me about it and he told me he was even feeling suicidal. I asked him if he had a plan for how he would go about doing that. And the answer was yes. So his, his dad and I got him, got him help right away. We got him into some counseling and it seemed that after a few months, it passed. He got his driver's license shortly after that. He was headed to prom, he got a job. Everything seemed fine over the next few years. When I woke up that morning, I had a text message from him that said, hey, I love you. I texted him and said, you are my boy. I love you too, with a happy face. And I don't know if he ever got that text message or not. In the hours and days after Dre's death, I didn't really know what to do with myself. I didn't think anybody could live with that level of pain. Dre was supposed to be starting college the next week and instead we were planning his funeral. We saw signs of my son's depression in hindsight and that's really difficult. The anger and the frustration and the irritability that was blown out of proportion to different circumstances. We didn't realize that that was actually, that is a sign of depression. One of the things that's been most difficult for me through this is considering how my son must have been feeling through those last few months of his life. It's gonna take all of us being comfortable talking about this and asking one another questions before we're gonna make a difference in this epidemic 